Yep. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session. And I know there's only a few people down there, but uh, before we start the session, uh, I would like to know if uh, anyone here is a local community organizer. Okay. At this one. Yeah. Okay. And welcome to our talk. So um, um, we're here today to talk about our experience in governing open source uh, community and some problem we have faced and um, some of our solution to them and our future steps. So uh, first, let's uh, do a quick introduction. So my name is Jing, and um, I'm, one, I'm one of the co-founder of um, our community, which is a cloud native Taiwan user group, and I currently work in Rantage, Japan. Uh, I'm Phil from Taiwan, also one of the uh, co-founder of a cloud native Taiwan user group. Uh, current position is a uh, cloud solution architect uh, at Microsoft Taiwan. If you are interested in Taiwan, please feel free to contact us uh, uh, offline later. Yep. Okay, so uh, let's first uh, give some background for our community. So um, this is a picture six years ago during our first meetup. Uh, we held it on Christmas Eve. So uh, when we started uh, this group, and uh, we have around 80 attendees in person on that time. And uh, through years, we have been growing. And um, so we're established in 2017. And um, our goal is to um, be an inclusive group um, and um, to uh, share our uh, passion in technologies and uh, our knowledge on cloud native uh, openly. And some of the key figures that we have, we have hosted to two Kubernetes community days um, since uh, we've started and have organized more than uh, 50 meetups, both offline and online. So we have been growing. Um, our main uh, sort of place to communicate is on Facebook. We have our Facebook groups. Uh, we currently have around 600, uh, 6,800 members. Um, with around uh, 2,600 post reaches uh, for uh, the posts on there. Um, for more real-time communication, we ha also have a Telegram group, uh, which have around 1,000 people. And uh, we, have, we have pretty active, uh, active communication uh, each day and each week. So our main language uh, for communication is uh, traditional Chinese, um, as um, um, the English proficiency average in, in Taiwan isn't that high. And our um, um, members come from different backgrounds. So we have people from the government, from the manufacturing industry, uh, financial service, and tech. OK, so uh, this is our on our background. So let's dive into our main topic uh, to talk about the challenges and um, the projects and solution we have uh, works on to uh, tackle these challenges. So I hand over to Phil. Uh, hi, everyone. I want to explain that it's very difficult to maintain local community operations, especially in area when the main language is not English. So you can see today's all the station is uh, all English, right? So it's very difficult to us uh, if you, not, you are not speaking English very well. Uh, but why? You can see this photo. Uh, you can see the photo. Uh, just last two weeks ago, uh, we co-hosted a cloud native sustainability week event with Green Software Foundation in Taiwan. Although the event only a uh, short three hours, uh, it was actually filled uh, with many different uh, challenges in here. One speaker is from UK. Uh, United uh, Kingdom and many speak English, uh, while the other two Taiwanese speakers many speak uh, Chinese. Uh, Chinese. Before the meeting, all communication is mainly based on English to ensure uh, that everyone is one uh, is on the same page. What is a uh, uh, agenda? Speakers, staff, finance and so on. It all requires resource and preparation to make it happen. Uh, 
based on our experience in management uh, the cloud native Taiwan user group community, we have list five top challenge for your reference. Firstly, uh, language. As you can hear, I'm not using English as my uh, primary language either. Therefore, uh, both pronunciation and writing can be challenged uh, for me. Secondary, finance. It actually costs a lot of money uh, to hold events. Uh, I, I think everybody pay their ticket um, fee like, and maybe like uh, air, airport for, uh, fee in, in, he, in here. And it's very difficult to sus uh, sustain without proper fi uh, financial support. At the same time, it's also important to ensure uh, financial transparency. Look at the booth in, the, the, in this picture. Uh, this is, is a photo from our Kubernetes Community Day Taiwan 2023 event this year. With table full of a uh, considerable amount of uh, swag, it's uh, all about the cost of uh, the money. And in addition to the financial support needed for these items, the event venue also require payment to ensure the smooth running of the event. There are also issues of manpower and energy transfer. From my perspective, it is actually not much different from operating a small company because you need marketing, uh, finance, and governments. Uh, we talk about the language first. In Taiwan, we mostly uh, communicate in traditional Chinese, while most uh, cloud native uh, technical posts or news are write, uh, writing in English. In the past, we have tried to share English posts on social media, but the effect was not significant. Few people would want to spend uh, time reading an uh, unfamiliar language. Therefore, we adopt a method of writing the, in both traditional Chinese and English, so that readers of either in language can quickly understand the content of the post. But there is a technical challenge here. How can we ensure that the meaning of the post uh, in both language is the same? The, an uh, the answer is the, that I suggest using uh, OpenAI or other translation tools or to assist to multilingual translation. Uh, if, you are, if you have noticed, KubeCon uh, NA actually provide online service uh, for captaining a, a process translation. Uh, to be honest, I think it's really very useful. Uh, for real-time meeting, uh, it is highly recommend to use uh, speech-to-text technology as it become more mature to enhance the efficiency of the meeting. That being said, the technology may not be very accurate in translating a uh, prop proper type, prop, sorry, proper type, uh, sorry, um, translating the groceries, such as the name of a numerous uh, cloud native project, which may result uh, in unspecked words or sentence. We use this technology uh, at Kubernetes Community Day Taiwan 2023 this year and receive very positive uh, feedback from the audience. In the future, we hope to improve it by integrating it with tools such as uh, OBS, uh, external voice APIs, uh, to make it uh, better. I think 
that based on the current path of AI development, the level of the participation in cross-border conference may increase next year. Uh, I would like to ask everyone, uh, when you join new company and see a lot of growth service, uh, what do you do first? Uh, based on my experience uh, as a former employee of Red Hat Taiwan and VMware Taiwan, usually new staff would want to look for the company's internal grocery webpage to see the meaning of those terms. I believe everyone has had the experience of looking at, at the, these words but having no idea what they mean. That is also true in the world of the cloud native. In order to lower the barrier for our membership who use uh, traditional Chinese to join the cloud native ecosystem, we gathered a group of contributors to join the uh, cloud native grocery project at uh, the beginning of this year. At the same time, through this project, we also try to bring up new contributors to open source projects, as the overall difficulty of this project is beginner friendly. And good thing is, last week, uh, with the efforts of many community members, final support for traditional Chinese was added. Yep, so um, next let's talk about funding. So um, as Bill mentioned, like funding is very important for a community to work. So we need funds for uh, event locations, for speaker travel supports, and uh, buy swags to encourage people to come out and speak or ask questions. And uh, for funding, we highly recommend to have a local nonprofit organization if you don't have the capability to deal with the monies. So um, this is to ensure that um, the process of the funding um, is financial transparency and meet local law regulations. And if any members have doubts on how you spend those monies, um, you will have a list of uh, spendings for the community members to view. And uh, for this, we have been collaborating with uh, Open Culture Foundation, which is one of the foundation uh, in Taiwan that's um, helped support uh, open source, uh, open technology, and open data uh, communities uh, in Taiwan. And um, so all of our financial tra transaction will go through um, OCF. And um, so we can ensure that um, the process is standardized and we have um, details for every transactions uh, including donations and uh, the spending we make. Uh, next is probably one of the biggest issues we have, so uh, which is the lack of uh, technical contributions. So um, as a community that works around sharing technical information, um, we actually strive to find speakers every month uh, healthy meetups. So you, you might find it uh, strange as uh, if you come to KubeCon, you can find that uh, usually there are more CFEs than uh, the number of sessions. But um, in our local community, uh, we have a hard time finding uh, people to share their knowledge and experience. Um, to face this issue, first uh, we have tried to lower the bars uh, for people to share. So our sharing principle is very simple. So um, um, the talk can be at any level. So we think that even beginner level talks uh, can help uh, other people a lot because um, the cognitive landscape is really large. You cannot be an expert in every field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, but there is a very strict uh, rule inside our community that uh, your presentation can, cannot be uh, a sales presentation. So we do not want people to come here and sell their products. And um, yeah, so uh, that's one of the um, uh, solution we come up with uh, finding speakers. 
Next, uh, since uh, the pandemic, uh, we have start, uh, we have switched to more and more online events. But uh, actually, we found out that um, in-person events still is still better uh, for a person to connect to each other and uh, communicate after uh, the meetup ended. So um, currently, we are, are trying to um, help more in-person events uh, for uh, more communications between our community members. Well, other than lowering the bar for the members to share, uh, we also uh, tried to start a mentoring program uh, to cultivate uh, new talents in, into the cloud native world. So um, we have a collaboration with OCF uh, together to find people who are interested in open source and cloud technologies. And um, our uh, community organizers uh, try to spend their free times um, leading those uh, these, uh, mentees and um, help them learn new technologies. And um, since last year, we have uh, one graduated mentee and currently one uh, still in the program. Um, so um, this program is currently highly limited by the number of mentors as, um, as we talk about, we have a lack of uh, manpower and um, all of our mentors have their own full-time jobs, so uh, they have to spend their free time doing um, their mentoring. Also, we didn't have a very complete process uh, from um, onboarding the uh, mentee and uh, to graduating the mentee, so we're currently working on that uh, to make the process more thorough, so um, things like um, um, what criteria the mentee has to met to uh, graduate uh, fr from our program. So in addition to uh, actively reach out to people and uh, mentoring them, uh, we've been passively uh, doing other uh, projects to help people uh, learn cloud natives, uh, such as uh, we have a project called InfraLab. Uh, so this project is basically we provide computing resource uh, for the members who doesn't have the uh, resource to run those cloud native technologies. Um, so uh, once they apply for, uh, to, the, to the project, uh, they are free to use the resource we have. So they can run uh, different projects, uh, test out different things. And once they're done with using uh, the resource, um, there's a criteria that uh, if you use the resource, you have to contribute back to the community. So uh, we think this is a win-win situation. Uh, you can use a resource, learn new things, and you can contribute back to the community to help others uh, learn new things. And the contribution form is not restricted. So uh, we have people who uh, do share talks in, in our meetups, and you can also write a blog post about uh, your findings and experience using the resource or uh, learning cognitive technologies or you can even contribute back to the upstream code base if you are very technical, uh, capable. So, uh, so the resource is currently funded by our organizer and um, some donations through uh, OCF, and uh, we're currently trying to maintain it. Uh, we think uh, this uh, project is running really well right now, so we have uh, a lot of people using it with uh, uh, people sharing back uh, feedbacks. So uh, other than um, limiting the resource to our own community use, uh, we have been sharing the resource to other open source community. So um, they are free to apply and utilize the resource uh, to do things such as uh, hosting their uh, community websites or do workshops. For example, uh, there is a community who have done a, a capture the flag, so a security kind of workshop uh, with our resource. So uh, we think that it's a really success. So, um, so there are difficulties on technical side from uh, finding people to share. Uh, there are also difficulties from non-technical side, which uh, is finding volunteers to help uh, or organize the events. So uh, since the beginning of our community, we have been in tight main power as uh, currently all of our co-organizer have their own phone type job. And in order to lower the efforts needed by us, uh, 
we have been collaborating with uh, larger communities uh, for some events. Uh, for example, uh, there's a conference in Taiwan called Coast Cup, which is a, a conference for open source contributor users and promoters. So um, they have a very uh, large uh, resource that uh, they can help us uh, held uh, a very large event. So uh, we have been holding Kubernetes community days for two years under uh, Coast Cup as a track, um, which uh, we found it uh, a lot better than uh, trying to do all, do all things for ourselves. So in this case, uh, all we have to do is to review the CF fees, to support the speakers, and set up the booths on, on site. Well, other things such as uh, sponsoring uh, the event venue or um, the uh, like uh, other venue stuffs are handled by the Coast Cup community. Um, that's one. That's one on these. Uh, we have been encouraging uh, new members to apply to the CS, CNCF ambassador program, which uh, we can gain more recognition in the community, which will probably help us uh, find more volunteers uh, that were willing willing to contribute it. Uh, in our community uh, to make us uh, grow further. So uh, I'll hand back to Phil to talk about some difficulties in knowledge transfers and some of the next steps uh, we are going to take uh, in our community. Uh, based on our status, uh, most members in Taiwan uh, primarily use Facebook uh, for communication. While the number of people using uh, LinkedIn or Twitter, or former former name, is uh, relative low. Uh, therefore, if there are plans to promote technology or your company brand in Taiwan, up to this day, uh, Facebook is still a better choice to you. In addition, as mentioned earlier, Language is a challenge in Taiwan. Actually, we cannot uh, translate each post into traditional Chinese before reposting. It is suggested that post can be summarized, and the summary can be re uh, write, re written in the familiar language. You can see the summary part is the green uh, green green bus, green bus, and the uh, original policy is in the uh, blue box. This will make the post more easily accepted by the community. Uh, the point is that we hope the readers can receive correct information rather than testing their language ability. In order to support the local community, we still need to continuously find a new sponsors to support. Local community activities, you, uh, you, you know there will be expensive for every, everything I mentioned before. We hope that this we can have the opportunity to allow everyone to have in-person meet up uh, from time to time or provide some financial support to uh, Taiwanese uh, open source contributors. Moreover, to ensure transparency, we also hope to provide uh, annual reports to the public for reference on the status of the uh, uh, Cloud Native Taiwan user group community in the future. We also hope to start trying to communicate with neighboring countries, such as uh, South Korea, uh, like uh, Hongjun in here, <laughs> Japan, and so on. Also, uh, I personally think it is very difficult. <laughs> the main barrier is language, uh, followed by culture. But let's try our best and see how it goes. Uh, finally, we have come to the summary. I highly recommend uh, everyone to use AI tools now 
uh, if you have difficulty with language converse, uh, com com conversation like me, uh, the translation effect is very good. Uh, for example, using features such as speech to test STT or translation tools. Uh, of course, this is not limited uh, to English usage. You can also try translating into traditional Chinese to communication, communicate with us. And the effect will be quite good. Even for nonprofit organization, uh, do not un uh, underestimate the financial support, as it will directly affect how much and how well you can do. Finally, continuing to uh, coming knowledge is very uh, is a very important thing. Uh, Open source or uh, shared knowledge uh, influence everyone. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any interesting in Taiwan or community governments uh, non for non-English region or and would like to contact us, we would be happy to communication with you. Uh, my name is Phil from Taiwan and he is Jing also from Taiwan. Thank you for your listening. Uh, any questions? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a governmental, a governmental organization. So they've been using Kubernetes and they have shared in uh, one of our KCDs. And you can see there's a lot of people filling up the room. Mm -hmm. Uh, not much currently, so, uh, uh, no, so, uh, so they have been submitting talks, but, uh, so officially we don't have, uh, any connection with our government right now. Yes. Um, so I will personally say that the average inf English proficiency in Taiwan isn't that high and uh, people still prefer to use their own mother language to learn new things uh, if they can. So uh, we actually have a co-organizer in our community that uh, do Kumanis lessons in, in Mandarin, which uh, it sells really well. and. Um, for adoptions, uh, I would say that um, um, it's still kind of a barrier as uh, like um, our knowledge to the actual like cloud native ecosystem is actually like um, one year behind or two year behind the uh, audience in uh, like North America or Europe where their English uh, proficiency is better. So uh, like, um, as Phil mentioned, that uh, most of the new 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 posts, is like technology posts, uh, new features, those are written in English, which uh, we don't have uh, manpower to translate all of those. So people may not knew, uh, oh, I can do this uh, right now. Uh, yeah. So uh, as for the culture side, I think uh, I personally think that uh, in Taiwan, people are more shy to share the knowledge. So uh, we're, we've been having a hard time to. Uh, find uh, speakers, as I mentioned, and uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're we're organizers are both trying to like uh, 
bring back knowledge from uh, from the English world and try to share it back in, in our local community. Yeah. Actually, we don't have a research on, on it because we accept all, all the uh, uh, female, male into the conference. We don't uh, try to identify the, the gentle. Yeah, so basically, uh, like, we don't, we don't block anyone from joining our read of. Uh, we did find out that uh, the female participant is a lot less in, uh, than the male participant. And... Uh, yeah, so we're, we're still working on that. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of tough as uh, um, like uh, it's normal to see that in in tech field that uh, in in Asia at at least uh, we have a lot less female workers in, than male workers. Well, um, we're trying to attract uh, more new talents uh, that's mm -hmm. female or uh, minorities to join our community. Uh, I think last year our Kubernetes Community Day 2022 have uh, a few of uh, female uh, as a speaker. So, but we I, I think uh, when when the call for paper we don't select any the uh, the. Yeah. So so when do you call for papers that uh like we do like equal of opportunity yeah, yeah. so. We don't identify, <laughs> we only identify by uh, their topics and their descriptions on what they want to talk instead of uh, um, identifying their, that they're, uh, they're male or female or uh, racist or other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, so we have around 11, but for the uh, very active ones, around four to five. Three. <laughs> so, yeah, so like, like Kiko's, Kiko's some, sometimes uh, when we held in bigger events, they help yeah. out, but uh, normally they, they don't show up much. Yeah. Yeah, so kind kind of working hard. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So um, for communication, we usually do uh, online seat cups like each week, or we just have a Telegram group and uh, so do you, uh, async uh, communications. Yeah, yeah. So we 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 are looking for how to bring up roles the member to to become a contributor. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's why we are uh, trying to do. <laughs> So maybe maybe we can share the uh, 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 your, uh, your your experience offline because I, I think Korea and Japan is all uh, is a, the, the similar situation. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that that person. Do you have questions? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So any more questions? Oh yeah. Um, for contributions, if you if you are talking about like more broad contributions, we do invite speakers from overseas. So, uh, like uh, this year, Kumens Community, we have uh, one speaker from uh, Belgium, mm -hmm. and uh, and a beautiful speaker from India, and from oh, Korea, Korea. <laughs> and uh, also uh, for online events, we also invite uh, speakers. Like you can speak in English; there is no problem speaking English in our meetups. Go ahead. Uh, anyone? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. For the uh, primarily the uh, sorry, English speaking community of the company, is there any way for people to have a help or support in terms of the 
说就是以他们是讲英文的，那他们有些什么方法可以帮我们这样？呃、uh, ，I I I think it's a little um um maybe you can try to uh submit your uh proposal to the yeah yeah personally I think yeah uh I try to engage the our me me uh. Monthly meetup because we are uh, try to uh, increase our visibility in the uh, in in the in the in the world or uh, community or global community. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, we also accept like international speakers if if you want to speak online to share your knowledge in our user group. And we we are trying to use the uh, STT to in, uh, improve our uh, we uh, barrier uh, barrier of the language. It's a very good good tool for everyone if you are trying to <laughs> do the cross uh, uh, translation. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think it, we're running out of time. So uh, if you have any other questions, uh, we'll be around here for a few minutes. Yep. Yep. Feel free Thank to you. come and talk with us.